Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting. So this is just a quick video, so it's just like a little sort of like a quick tip for you. Um, because I wanted, I'm working on my folio um, and I just wanted to remove this eyelet. Now I've removed one here because I want to cover this page. I don't like these little flaps like this. I want to actually pop this paper on the top like that so I need to remove the eyelet so I'm just I'm going to just show you how I do it so or how I did it I'm going to just go turn it over and go from the back um, and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to lift these up now how I've squashed it down um, they sort of like split sometimes you squash them down and they go in like a little proper ring but these ones I've sort of um, come open like a little flower, if you can see what I mean. And I'm just lifting these up. Now you can do it with, once you've got them up, you can get your, your pliers and just pull these up like that. Get underneath and pull them up, but mind your fingers. And then it will just pop out. Now I've done this before. Um, a couple of times and I meant to show you and I completely forgot so I'm just going to get my pliers and just squash that in you can't obviously reuse this because it's just, it won't work properly and then it just pops out like that so it's perfect you could use the little thingy underneath it but I've just made some more so that's quick and simple and it doesn't ruin your piece of paper so you've still got your little hole there ready to go again now I've made some more like this and I've got some um, little um, eyelets there as well so what I'm going to do I'm going to just stick these on like that because I really didn't like the back of this um, so I thought that um, if you make a mistake like I did or wanted to change something you can see how simple it is to just pop them out so I'm just going to pop this down and show you how I can do is that the right way I think that's the right one so I'm popping this one on the outside because I think that will look a lot lot better than just that one like that I didn't like it at all so let's just squash this down, make sure we are in there. Now I'm going to go through, I'm not obviously not going to pop both of them on, I'm going to have to just make the hole, oops which is the big one, this is the big one, just go through there like that so we've got the little hole in there. So when we put the back one on, which is... I've got these, I don't think it really matters which way up they go. Are you in view? Just about. Let's go up a little bit more. I'm going to just stick this one on. I've got the writing so it comes down. So when you open this up, that writing's on there like that because that's sort of, I think, the bottom, I'm hoping. And then when you open it up, you want the writing sort of like going the right way. Um, that's if you've got sort of like text or script or something on your paper. But if it's just pretty, then it doesn't really matter, does it? So there we go. Squash that down. Pop that in there. I will do a longer video tomorrow. I'll finish it off. Well, maybe not tomorrow because it's Friday freebie day tomorrow. So don't forget that one. Um... Maybe I'll do it tomorrow evening. Um, I'll finish this off. I'm nearly done. I've finished lots of it off. Um, and I just wanted to give you sort of like a flip through of it. Um, so I've done bits. I didn't have time to do a big, a longer video again. Because Andy's not too well at the moment. He's um, got chest infection. So I've been taking over admin duties today. And yesterday... Um, so, um, I haven't had time to do a video, so, but we've had some lovely, lovely emails and messages from you all, and it is so lovely, so we try and get back to you as soon as we can, um, 
but yes big big thank you to all of you for all your lovely messages and emails um, and don't forget if you want to ask me anything or Andy anything please you know just drop me an email um, I'll pop the email address underneath the video um, I'm always happy to help if you've got any questions you want to ask me um, because if you want to get to me quicker it's easier to email because if you pop it under a video sometimes I don't always get to see it straight away but we do answer um, the emails if we can so I'll pop the email address underneath the video so I'm going to just quickly pop a little hole in here oops I've got a little bit in there pop that in there so make your hole first before you put the other side on because it's a lot lot easier than trying to figure out where the hole is because then you can just go through it there and pop this one on I think this is going to look a lot lot better um, than just the plain sort of like coffee stained card Oh, plus our wind here is dropped down outside so it's got very very hot so I am going to do some more tea stain paper coffee stain paper in the garden so I will video that as well I know I've done it before but I will just show you what I do just a quick video just a recap because I know I've got lots of uh, newbies in the um, subscribers so it's quite nice to just um, recap um, on a few bits and pieces, isn't it? Okay, let me just open that up just so I can pop that there. Perfect. That looks better, doesn't it? Because that's the back. Let's lift that up. So that's going to be the back. That looks so much better, I think. Love it. Oh, look, I put a little pocket in there. Doesn't that look lovely? That's with a, that dress. So I'm making good use of that dress. So loving that. Let's open this back out again. I have got two more of these, which look great. And this time I found some of this thread. It's got the gold in it. But I don't think I need the gold in it. So it's quite simple to take off. I believe it just comes off I hope let's see this is a little bit thicker um, don't know whether it's going to be a bit too thick there we go look at that just came off like that that's an awful lot let's just pop some eyelets in let's just go for let's just go for some brown there we go on that one there through there perfect that goes underneath there we go make sure that's worked and then which way we're going this way Perfect. There we go. That looks so much better. Now I'm going to pop this under there. This is just a little. I'm going to just make that a little bit longer because when I did it last time, I didn't have it long enough. There we go. Let's just make that a little bit bigger. Pull that through. Gosh. There we go. Make sure I don't squash it too much. Put that underneath. And there we go. Perfect. I'm going to cut that off. And there we go. Lovely. And then this will just go under there nicely. Whoops. Once you've done it a couple of times, um, it will, 
you know, get a little bit bigger. There we go. That's perfect, isn't it? And I like the brown. I like the brown a lot better. So I'm going to cut that off. I'm just going to tie a little knot in it. I know it's a little bit longer, but I'm not quite sure whether to put a bead or something on there. We shall see. But I'm going to tie that so it doesn't unravel because I think this one unravels a little bit more than the other one I had. So that can go on there. So there we go, guys. Perfect. Oops, I've just undone that. Never mind. I've got to take that off anyway because I think that's going to be for the um, closure. We shall see. But there we go. Quick and simple. Really easy to remove. And I'm loving how that's turned out. I'm really happy with um, the colour of that. That matches that, but it's not together. This sort of like closes up but I will give you a nice um, flip through. I've got a few things I want to share with you on finishing off um, and then I will do a flip through. So I will do that all in one video. So there we go, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, please take care, stay safe and I will see you soon. All right, guys. Bye bye.